Good afternoon, number once again. Yes, indeed, that Central Command team meeting is continuing here in Kempton Park, the EFF sitting for the next two days to discuss a lot of issues which you are about to find out because you are joined by the, by the Secretary General of the party himself, Marshal Lamin. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for your time. What on earth are you talking about then? Afternoon and afternoon to the viewers at home. <laughs> Look, we were gathering here on the 8th Central Command Team meeting. It's what the constitution of the EFF requires. That Now and again, we must meet to give the state of the organization the progress of what the <laughs> Second National People's Assembly resolved in terms of uh, what are the resolutions are implementing. So we're here to give progress report, but this one coincides with uh, local government elections that uh, are supposed to take place uh, within a space of two months or whatever the time that we are given. So part of uh, what we're dealing with here is to deal with the program of action towards the uh, the uh, local government elections that are that are coming because we are indeed available. We're going to contest the elections. So part of the issues that we're going to deal is even the manifesto framework, which we are launching on the 26th of uh, September uh, this, this year to, to deal with those issues. So we, we are covering a lot of issues, but uh, on the main, we're going to be dealing with the issues of preparing for the elections because you would know that we just uh, registered all our candidates, 4,468 in the entire country. So we are contesting all the in South Africa, because we are an organization that resolved in our founding uh, assembly that we must contest all the words in South Africa. So we are here to make sure that everything is in place and uh, the organization and the machinery is ready to take on uh, this election that we are going to get into. Looking at your previous press briefing, which was held in Bramfontein, you did make mention of the fact that COVID or no COVID, the elections manifesto will be launched this month, which said 26th. Are you sure that's what you want to do, looking at the fact that there isn't that much of a relief in as far as the new infections are concerned? No, we are launching our manifesto on uh, that uh, Sunday of the 26th. We are no longer listening to anything. These regulations that, uh, that are abnormal, that are not scientific of the ruling party, we are we, we no longer uh, listening to them. We are working on our own program as an organization, and our program is that on the 26th of uh, September we are launching our manifesto. And we already, through our social media, uh, national, province, regions, even our branches, we have already invited communities to make their contributions towards our manifesto because the EFF manifesto is not just a get a resolved in offices. It's a people's manifesto. So we want all members of society in the country to say what kind of a government, a local government that they are looking for, and it must be their government. So uh, they must be the one who are giving us guidance on issues that are critical, that are of a priority that when we take over municipalities, these are the agent matters that affect their lives on daily basis, as we all know, that they've been uh, neglected for the last 27 years. So it's, it's the issues that we're going to be dealing with. And uh, we're going to be, as early as uh, next week from Monday, we're having community meetings, we're meeting various sectors, structures, individuals, all of them, they're invited to contribute uh, to our manifesto so that when we arrive on the 26th of uh, September, we are uh, going to be unveiling the People's Manifesto. 26th of September it is. Now, looking at the fact that you've been vocal with the fact that the elections must be postponed, now it would seem we still have to wait for that uh, uh, concord judgment as to what's going to happen. Looking at now the issue of the IEC having closed the deadline, ANC missing out on a number of municipalities, especially in Limpopo and KZN, are you still wanting the elections to be postponed? Because one can imagine that this is more like municipalities being given to you on a silver platter. Look, we, we did everything. We were, as early as the beginning of the year, we were vocal in terms of uh, the, uh, the issues of municipalities that they must be postponed because we don't think that under the current conditions uh, they, uh, they're going to be free and fair. We did everything, including to go to the Mosaic uh, inquiry to make our own submission there. And we stated that they are, here are the issues, the pandemic is still with us. But one of the authorities, the IEC, decided to go ahead, the, uh, lo uh, the Minister of uh, Local Government decided to go ahead and, uh, and gazette the elections. So we, we don't have a choice. We're going to go and contest the elections. The IEC, we went to court to say uh, they must uh, suspend their, uh, the, the timetable 
that uh, already that we feel that they ill-treated us and they misled us because in, uh, they gave us an, an assumption that no, they, they're just gazetting for the sake of gazetting. But we, deal, we realize that we are dealing with crooks, so we complied to the timetable of the IEC and we submitted our candidates. So we are going ahead to the elections. We're not going to be played like a tennis ball by the ANC government. To, today when we're saying the elections are not going to be free and fair because of these uh, scientific reasons that we are giving you, they're refusing to that. And then when the ruling party is uh, demonstrating its incompetence, then we must be subjected to that. Now we want elections. Let the elections come. We are ready. Let's go. Because we've been talking to them and they refuse because they thought we are not ready or we are scared of them. We are not scared of anyone We're going to contest the elections. We don't care about their incompetences in terms of registering their candidates or not because we don't run our program on the basis of how the ANC uh, performs or fails. We run on our own programs. We work with our own structures in terms of our, in terms of preparedness and everything else we do. So whether they registered or not registered, it's a, it's, it's an issue with us. It's an opportunity, actually, it's an opportunity for you to get no, municipalities. Actually, preferably they should have been there so that we can defeat them nicely because we're going to defeat them. So this one they're going to use as an excuse that we're not there. No, we want them to be there so that we can contest them on each and every word and defeat the ANC. We're not scared of the ANC. They've demonstrated that they're useless. They don't have capacity to do anything. That's why they can't even to deal with simple things of paying their uh, staff salaries. So why should we be scared of them? So they, they, uh, they, whatever happens, we went to the Concord and uh, the Concord, that's why we were clear that they're incompetent because we went there on agent basis. On the issues that the timetable, it must be suspended or it must be reviewed on the 23rd of August. The 23rd of August has passed now. So we don't care whatever the ruling that comes there because it, does not, it doesn't affect us because we're not going to change our plans because they're incompetent even today. They've not said anything. So uh, let them bring the elections. Uh, we don't want any postponement. Let's go now. We are ready to go because they forced us here. So we're not going to be uh, uh, working according to their emotions. Today they want elections. That day they don't want it must follow to that because we're not a party uh, that was founded or we are got relations with the ANC. They want us to go to elections. IEC, let's go. That's why we are launching our manifesto. Launching of our manifesto, it means the election campaign of the EFF uh, has been unveiled and we're going to do everything, including community meetings, everything else that we, we feel it's, uh, it's safe and, uh, and, uh, and it's going to work for us to, to make sure that we, con we contest elections in the process and the programs that we're uh, going to be dealing with uh, today. So we're going to do everything else that we want to do. Marshal Lamini. Of the, of the EFF. One last question, a bit out of what we've been talking about. There's an MP of the ANC in Parliament of a Chinese origin. She's been in the news today and this morning that she apparently could possibly be a spy for a Chinese Communist Party in, in China. That's a bit scary. As an MP, what's your view? Uh, but she's deployed by organization of spies. All of them, uh, leave the, the Chinese lady, including Cyril, is working for white people. They are just a, uh, an organization of spies because if that was not the case, if they were an organization that's, uh, that is there to represent people of South Africa, we wouldn't be having all these issues, such high levels of unemployment, our people are being excluded to participate in the economy of this country, uh, they are collapsing state-owned uh, entities. So it is an organization of spies. So all of them, that Chinese lady, she is within the family. So we, we really not paying interest. For us, uh, our focus is for the destruction of the ANC and that's what we are working on on daily basis and we'll do it. Marshal, I mean, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Nombu, you heard it for yourself. They're not scared. They're not moved. They're not deterred. Bring it on. One was under the impression that they are going to take the advantage that the ANC missed the deadline. They think even if they were there, bring it on. They are ready. They want to roll these coming uh, local government elections. With that, it's back to you in studio in Auckland Park. Thanks very much, my colleague there, Abongile Tumako.